This video presents the AD9833 Programmable Waveform Generator, which is interfaced with an Arduino. The AD9833 can output sinusoidal, triangular, and square waveforms. The AD9833 module shown here can output sine, triangular, and square waveforms up to a frequency of 12.5 MHz. It is interfaced with a microcontroller using 3-wire SPI. It can be supplied with DC voltage ranging between 2.3 and 5.5 volts. And to lower the power consumption, there's an option where you can power down the module. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We have the AD9833 module connected with the Arduino using SPI, where the serial data line is connected to master output uh, slave input line of the Arduino which is pin D11. The serial clock is connected to the clock pin of Arduino which is D13 and the F-Sync is connected to chip select which is pin D9. We also have the analog output from the module connected to a scope. We have a 2-bit uh, dip switch which is connected to pins D3 and D4 of the Arduino that uh, act as a signal selector. So according to this truth table here, 00, 0 gives us a sinusoid, 0, 01 triangular, 10 square wave, 11 1 gives us a square wave with half the frequency. We also have a 10k pot connected to analog line A6 which uh, controls the frequency of the output waveform. A look at the C++ uh, code. We need to include this uh, library so we can access the AD9833 module. We declare this object which is connected to digital pin D9. Within the setup function we initialize the uh, object and we enable the output of the module. Inside the loop function and uh, via a 10k pot we read the analog input connected to A6 and then remap the values to values between 1000 and 5000. Now this will represent our frequency range and the module can support frequencies up to 12.5 MHz. Next we read the status of uh, switch 1 and switch 2 which are connected to pins 3 and 4 of the Arduino and uh, based on their values we either display a sinusoid or a triangular waveform or a square wave or a square wave at half the frequency. And now for a quick demonstration. With the dip switch positions at 0, 0, we get a sinusoid and we can increase the frequency between 1 kilohertz up to 5 kilohertz. For a switch value of 0, 1, we get a triangular waveform. Setting the switches to 1, 0 gives us a square waveform. And finally for a switch position of 1, 1 we get a square wave with half the frequency. In future videos, more applications will be demonstrated using the AD9833 signal generator. Thank you for watching.